tidy down. I want him back to face the camera. All right, see there. That's a good example of your two inch. So I only want it two inches and I want it to move his body. But instead of giving me his body, he just gave me his neck. And then I had a really sloppy connection in my rein there, didn't I? Instead of him keeping this rein straight up and coming with me, that's a bit better. So I stopped there. See how he stopped? Well, but the first time I did it, that was good that he did that for the camera, is when he's messing about. So I wait, I wait, I wait. There. But the first time he just, I wanted that, a couple of inches, his face to be in that position, because that's where I put the rein, but he decided to come all the way here like he is doing now, which I didn't ask for. So he wasn't listening to my correct connection or my language I'm asking him through this rein. So an easier way to see this, because this might not be, this might be too advanced or too complicated to understand from this rein and this head bend, is the feet so we'll back him up so he stood still he gets no pressure okay so i'm going to start asking him a question okay so i'm going to start i open my legs then that could be a cue for him to back up he's completely on me look his ears on me he's trying to look at me he's fidgeting now so i'm going to pick my reins up i'm going to sit back a little bit and i want to pull and I didn't even have to touch that bit then and he's given me two feet but I only asked for one so if you go at that, that angle you'll see better there we go so when I ask so already he's picking up from the cues I'm doing with my body before I even get to rain so I'm going to give him the warning and time to think of what I'm going to ask him to do so I'm going to sit back a little bit I'm opening my legs a little bit and I touch him in the bridle there's a back up step all right, so let's make it a bit more visual. Every time I pick him up, I'm asking him for a step, then I'll release him. I'm asking him for a step, there's the foot, release him. I'm asking him for a step, I release him. I'm asking him for a step, I release him. If I want it, because I want precision, if I want to handle a foot at a time, I need to start it like this. Otherwise, every time I pick the rein up, he's either going to pull on me or he's going to go back as many steps willy-nilly. And this is where the advanced deployment comes in, where I can say, I'm going to do five steps, I'm going to do two steps, not just leave it up to him. So if I wanted to do just a plain back up, then I've still got releases in here. They're just going to be smaller. So I wanted to carry on back it up. Just thinking that's the answer, but it's the wrong answer. 
I didn't ask that question. He just gave me an answer, but he didn't listen to the question. He didn't even get to for me to finish my question. He just went, oh, have that. And that was wrong. So this is why if you want to build the connection, the trust in your horse, that relationship, so you can rely on them and put your life in their hands, you need to build this more refined language with them. And that's why they get stroppy. He gets very anxious when you get on him because someone's been too hard with their hands with him. Um, and he, he wonders, well, what's going to come? What's going to come? I know this pressure's going to come. And I, I know I'm not going to like it. So instead of having this light connection with him, being like Ugh. and some people won't even know they're doing it okay so it more novice riders are going to have that connection this relates more to the english now is they don't realize how much pressure they're putting on the horse because he's took a step back there now, i've only got a light light connection on him but if he's if i'm combining him this is only a young horse he's only been in the saddle for three months so it's too much pressure and that's where you've got to have that release of pressure otherwise they're not going to learn anything because they've got no motivation to learn it's i want my horses thinking all the time where's that release of pressure what's the answer to nikki's question not combining all the time so there's no release of pressure okay so watch his mouth now he's going to start tapping his leg okay